Hello everyone. Today I will be recapping a movie called Meg 2 The Trench. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The film starts from a very ancient time, approximately 65 million years ago, when numerous monsters were hunting. In the midst of this, a dinosaur appears. He is considered the most dangerous of all dinosaurs. He starts attacking the monsters, causing them to quickly flee into the water. The dinosaur follows them into the sea and is about to devour one of the monsters when a massive shark, known as a megalodon, emerges and attacks the dinosaur. The megalodon effortlessly drags the dinosaur into the water, making it seem as though the dinosaur has been reduced to a small animal. This showcases the power and danger of the megalodon, which is why the movie is called Meg. The story then shifts to the present day, where the hero of our story, Jonas, is exercising. As he steps through a gate, it collapses. We see that Jonas is inside a container on a large ship moving through the sea. He continues forward and witnesses some people throwing hazardous chemical cans into the water. To gather evidence against them, he starts taking pictures. However, the people notice his actions and realize he is capturing evidence of their wrongdoing. They begin to chase him, but Jonas manages to escape. One of them approaches to catch him, but Jonas jumps, kicks him, and throws him aside. He fearlessly fights off numerous people who try to stop him. He strikes one person hard in the face and pushes another, throwing him away. To block the others, he topples the cans. As he reaches the stairs, another person confronts him, but Jonas swiftly catches and throws him down. He continues moving forward, but eventually gets caught by the pursuing group since there is no way ahead, with the sea on one side. Jonas stops and talks to some people standing below, who are after him. He tells them, I am arresting all of you for the crime of dumping chemicals in the sea. You, you, and you as well. Jonas shows them a license in his pocket, dives into the water, and they assume he will perish due to the great depth. To taunt him, they tell him to swim and enjoy before dying. Fortunately, Jonas's two companions are in a helicopter and spot him in the water. They stop the helicopter and save his life. The three of them then decide to put an end to any wrongdoing in the sea. Jonas is thrilled because he has successfully gathered evidence against the culprits, who will now be apprehended. Later that night, Jonas attends a party where he encounters the director of a Chinese research company, who happens to be the brother of Jonas's scientist friend. The director's companion joins them on stage and calls the director as well. They announce that it has been 10 years since their company was established, and they celebrate this milestone. The director shares that his sister and father passed away some time ago, which led him to choose a different path and establish the research company. He discusses the various technologies and innovations they have developed, and emphasizes that their scientists have created suits that enhance human strength by more than 20%. These suits have been tested with a 100% success rate. Additionally, they have captured a megalodon shark from the depths of the sea, discovered at a depth of approximately 20,000 feet. They have also encountered the hermocline layer, a trench-like layer in the sea where the temperature decreases significantly and only dangerous and powerful creatures can survive. The purpose of this layer is to prevent these dangerous predators from reaching the surface. The director concludes by stating that their mission involves protecting the sea, and ongoing research is being conducted to further advance their mission. The next day, all these people arrive at the research center where Jonas is about to embark on a mission with the director. Although the mission seemed risky to him, Jonas felt the danger but still agreed. At the research center, Jonas discovers that his scientist friend, who is also the sister of the company director, is taking care of her daughter, who has already grown up. The daughter expresses her desire to become a scientist like her mother and wants to be a part of the research on the Meg as well. However, Jonas refuses her request because she is still young. Just then, they are informed that the company director wants to test the Meg, and the test has already begun. Jonas disagrees with this idea because he knows how dangerous the megalodon shark can be. However, the director believes that Meg can be controlled and confidently stands in front of the shark. As Meg approaches, everyone becomes fearful, thinking that the director might not survive. To their surprise, Meg passes by without harming the director, completing the test successfully. 
After the test, the director informs everyone that although there are a few things left to be tested, Meg can be controlled. However, when Meg is confined, she spots a weak spot made of iron rods and starts attacking it, easily breaking free and returning to the sea. Following this, the team begins preparing for their mission, which involves diving to a depth of 20,000 feet in the sea to explore the unknown world below. Jonas and the director board separate submarines accompanied by their respective teams. As they descend into the depths of the sea, the team receives guidance from three workers above, directing them on where to go. To Jonas's surprise, he discovers that his friend's daughter has stowed away in his submarine, which he finds concerning due to the dangers of the mission. He instructs her to stay put, but their attention is soon caught by the presence of Meg. Meanwhile, Jonas and the director are puzzled by how Meg managed to escape. They decide to descend further into the thermocline layer, a dangerous underwater region, to save the trapped Meg. To their surprise, Meg follows them but refrains from harming the submarines. Perplexed by her behavior, they continue deeper into the abyss, where they witness the sight of two megalodons together, a sight never seen before. During their descent, the director spots a station where individuals are digging in the depths of the sea. This surprises Jonas and the director as nobody had ventured so deep before, especially with such significant investment. Their curiosity is interrupted when a thug in a submarine above spots Jonas and the director. Acting on the orders of the unknown entity running the station, the thug causes an explosion to conceal their activities and prevent the truth from being exposed. The explosion causes rocks to break loose and collide with the submarines, leading to a tense situation for Jonas and the director as they struggle to control their vessels. With great effort, they manage to regain control and attempt to save their lives. Meanwhile, the three workers above are concerned about the incident and are unable to provide immediate assistance due to their ships being damaged. Jonas contacts the workers from below, assuring them that everyone in his submarine is safe. However, they are unsure about the director's whereabouts. Jonas senses the imminent danger they face, with multiple megalodons and enemies who have tried to kill them. Determined to continue their mission, Jonas and the director decide to proceed to the trench station despite the risks. Equipped with the director's suits, the team emerges from the submarine. To their surprise, they find the director left alone in his vessel, also wearing a suit. Together, they make their way towards the trench station, at the same time, the goon contacts his boss, who happens to be the director's partner involved in the secret mission. The boss instructs the goon to kill Jonas if he is indeed alive. As Jonas and the director, accompanied by their team, approach the station, they are attacked by monsters. The team shoots at the monsters, but many of their members are killed and devoured. Jonas fights back, managing to defeat and eliminate some of the monsters. Meg arrives on the scene, causing the remaining monsters to flee. Confused by their sudden retreat, Jonas and the team realize they are in a dire situation. They quickly seek refuge in the station to save their lives, narrowly escaping Meg's pursuit. When these people enter, they discover a valuable mineral called Dati that the director of Chekar informs them is only found in the depths of the sea. Its price is in the millions of dollars, which explains why they were digging in that area. After Jonas, the company's workers arrive and inform him about unidentified ships spotted nearby. They are unsure of the ship's origins. Perplexed, Jonas decides to investigate and find out who they are. As Jonas and his team move forward, they enter a large room, but as they step inside, the door locks behind them, trapping them inside. The worker on the top screen contacts them and asks if they are hurt. She reveals that she has taken control of the entire station and locked the gate. The truth comes out that she is also associated with the director's partner, who betrayed them. She mocks them for coming to such a place and engaging in such work where money is the priority. Jonas tries to reason with her, reminding her that they were all friends. However, her greed had driven her to join forces with the director's partner, blinding her to their friendship. She then instructs her workers to put a gun to Jonas's chest and shoot him if they want to save the daughter of the scientist. Jonas is willing to sacrifice himself for the girl's safety. However, when she puts the gun to his chest, she cannot bring herself to kill him because they were once friends. Soon after, 
The director's partner arrives and reveals her true intentions to the director Jonas and his team. She confesses that she had been secretly working on her own project, using the director's technologies to earn millions of dollars. Enraged, the director smashes the screen, provoking the partner's anger. She orders her worker to kill everyone, and the worker complies. Following her orders, the worker activates the JSC button, causing water to flood the room where the people are trapped. Everyone becomes anxious due to the rising water level. The director suggests finding a way to gain control of the computer in the room outside to stop the water. Jonas volunteers for the task, and the worker opens the door, allowing him to enter the water-filled area. However, the pressure of the water proves to be intense, and Jonas struggles to maintain his breath. He endures the difficulty even as his nose and mouth start bleeding. Despite the challenging circumstances, he perseveres and continues on. As he nears the JLVO station, he encounters the same goon who taunts him about his past encounter. Jonas denies recognizing him and manages to free himself from the goon's grasp, engaging in a fight. The goon attempts to attack Jonas with a knife, but Jonas strikes his leg, disarming him. The goon retaliates, but Jonas overpowers him, continuously striking him. Although the goon throws Jonas to the ground, Jonas rises again and resumes the fight. Eventually, Jonas subdues the goon, rendering him unconscious. Jonas then unlocks the door of the trapped room, allowing his team to escape the flooding water and saving their lives. Continuing their journey, the group encounters a ship outside. However, they face the challenge of Meg, the Megalodon. They realize it is not safe to venture outside as Meg would attack them. In a moment of inspiration, they turn on all the lights of the station, attracting Meg's attention. Meg starts attacking the station, allowing the group to quickly board the ship and escape. They feel relieved and happy as they leave the danger behind. Now above the thermocline layer, they observe that it has disappeared due to their ascent and Meg's presence. This poses a significant danger as dangerous creatures from the depths could now freely roam the area. Despite their fear, they press on toward their base. Meanwhile, a massive octopus emerges from the depths, adding to their sense of unease. Unbeknownst to them, the goon who had confronted Jonas earlier manages to survive and boards one of the ships, ascending alongside them. Above ground, Jonas's companions notice that the worker from above had intentionally sabotaged the ship to prevent them from entering the water and ensuring their demise. Realizing that something is amiss, they confront the worker and her goons, engaging in a fight. The brave worker fights the goons single-handedly, easily defeating two of them. When the third goon attacks, the worker swiftly incapacitates him. Despite the odds being against them, both workers manage to overpower their adversaries. However, the situation takes a turn as bullets rain down on them. They quickly jump into the water, narrowly escaping with their lives. Jonas and his companions discover that the goons have taken control of their base. They decide to return to the ship to strategize and regain control. Jonas leaves the girl with his worker and returns to his base with the director. Now, she attacks the goons and starts fighting with them. The director distracts them while Jonas easily kills all the goons. Meanwhile, the girl and her worker also get their two workers who had just jumped into the water. Everyone is very happy together and starts saying that the real hero, Jonas, has arrived. They thank God that he is alive. The goon meets the upper worker and informs him that Jonas and the director are still alive and have gone to the base. Upon hearing this, she immediately orders her goons to go to the base quickly and find those two to eliminate them. She wants everything to be under their control and no one to harm them again. When the girl and her worker reach the top of the ship, they see three megalodons floating on the water. They become scared as it poses a significant problem. The megalodons start moving towards the base. The upper worker video calls her boss, the director's companion, and shows her the captured Meg. She assures her that this place is completely safe. However, Meg breaks the glass and escapes, attacking the worker and causing water to flood the base. The goon quickly saves his life and escapes from the base, causing the entire structure to shake. Meanwhile, Jonas gathers his team and boards a boat to move into the sea. Some goons also join the boat to kill Jonas. They aim to shoot him, but Meg suddenly emerges and attacks their boat, swallowing it and devouring everyone. Witnessing this, Jonas gets scared, accelerates his boat and tries to escape. 
The goon informs the director's companion that Jonas and the director are still alive and tells her to find and kill them at any cost. Jonas prepares his weapon to kill Meg and attaches a bomb to his rod. The director informs him that there is an island nearby where many people need to be saved from Meg. They are shown the island where people are sitting and enjoying. A boy is about to propose to his friend, but his ring falls as the boat shakes. When he looks back, his friend has disappeared. Chaos ensues as the octopus attacks the ship and people. The director's companion arrives on the island with the goon, intending to kill Jonas and the director. However, they encounter monsters like Shulfall that emerge from the sea. The goon fights the monsters, but they drag away many of his friends. Jonas and the director arrive on the island to help the people. They instruct the girl to assist everyone. However, three megalodons approach the island, causing havoc in the sea. They pick up ships and swallow them, endangering everyone in their path. Jonas becomes frightened by the situation. The director's friends try to escape in a helicopter, but a monster inside the aircraft attacks them and devours them. Jonas tells the director and his friends to handle the situation on the island while he goes into the water to confront the megalodons. Jonas moves forward in his boat, with the megalodons chasing him. The director reaches the helicopter where a monster is present. With his weapon, he brings the monster closer and manages to kill it by putting the weapon in its eye. The director rushes into the helicopter, which explodes and kills all the monsters. They fly the helicopter and encounter a large octopus on the island, attacking people with its tentacles. Concerned for the people's safety, the director jumps out of the helicopter to save them. Meg approaches Jonas's boat in the water, aiming to swallow him. However, his boat starts moving, narrowly escaping her. The three megalodons unite to kill Jonas, but he bravely evades their attacks. One megalodon comes closer to him, and Jonas thrusts his rod into its head, causing a bomb to explode, killing the megalodon. Before that, Jonas also kills another megalodon. The goon, who was planning to kill Jonas, becomes a problem as a megalodon approaches him. Jonas reaches the shore, and as the goon tries to shoot him, Jonas kicks him, causing him to fall into the water. Meg catches the goon and devours him. Meanwhile, the director is caught by an octopus with its leg, but the director puts a bomb in the octopus's leg using his rod, killing it. The director escapes from the octopus and continues his journey. Meg attacks the director, but Jonas shouts to get her attention. Meg leaves the director and goes after Jonas. Jonas puts the helicopter fan in her mouth, killing her. People in the sea start coming to the shore, and the director's Meg, the third one, heads towards them. The director uses a device in the water to control Meg and prevent her from harming anyone. Meg obeys and returns without causing harm. Helicopters arrive to rescue the remaining people, and everyone sits on the shore, relieved and happy. One of the helicopters lands near Jonas and the director, and they join the others. The girl and her worker also make it to the shore safely. They all celebrate their victory over the creatures and express their gratitude to Jonas and the director for saving their lives. As they gather on the shore, the director's companion, who had survived the attack on the island, approaches them. She expresses her regret for her previous actions and thanks Jonas and the director for their bravery. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.